hello and welcome to our channel mocha bhat uh, today i am going to show you how can you create a hanky mockup or handkerchief mockup from scratch means in this video you are going to learn how can you create a 3d object of a hanky mock hanky then we are going to apply it, uh, phd mockup on it so without further ado let's get started you can see i am using the marvelous designer software here uh, in this channel i am going to show you different type of software use like marvelous designer blender uh, keyshot zbrush cinema 4d most of those three those three or four whatever so without further ado let's get started so first we need to create a shape use the polygon tool you can use this shortcut for s or you can just select in water here uh, just click on a 2d window this is the 2d window and this is the 3d window make it 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter that's okay so you can see this is our 3d window this is the selection tool this is selection tool for 3d window this is selection tool for 2d window it's actually the pattern selection tool or transform pattern you can see so using the mouse middle click you can pan and rotate the 3d window same as the 2d window and the right click is to rotate the whole 3d view okay so just left click on the 2d window you can say gizmo is appear just rotate it you can use the shift key to automatically snap on particular like 90 degree 45 degree and 80 degree get it down a little zoom it out scroll up and scroll down to zoom it out and zoom it up so now we are going to need some cuts now click the edit pattern tool select one individual pattern right click on it and create offset as internal line make it one centimeter go for other parts too offset as internal line whatever you do you can see its projection on this 3d window too those red lines is this internal lines right click offset as internal line offset as internal line okay next we need to cut and sew them so using the shift key you can select two or more lines all together then just right click and cut and sew okay now we need this more part to be more thickening so what can we do we can uh, make copy of these patterns same as use the shift key and click them right click let's use the symmetric pattern with swing what happened right click no 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 nothing i think i have missed something clone layer That's right. Now start the simulation. You 
can see this nice swing okay now we need to add some crease it's nothing that hard first we need to increase the particle distance not increase actually reduce the particle distance uh, let's make it 5 as per your particle distance the program is going to run much heavily so depending on your PC configuration you could see some lagging you can already see I have already facing some lagging here I think I have to reduce the particle distance I increase the particle distance a little bit make it 8 run the simulation uh, it is perfect for me Just a little bit of creases. See what's happening here. Did I get any artifact artifacts? Let's try to if I can invert its normals. Let's see what's the result we can get after this inverting those normals. No, results are not good. try to reduce the particle distance for those mm, let's make it 4 I guess I think that's sufficient for our work. Yeah, it's better. So, next you just need to click on File, and then Export. 
you can use either obj or fbx so i'm going to use the obj After saving this, a dialog box will appear. So some parameters we need to use it for. Uh, use it single object, wheeled and thin. We don't need thickness because we already have added thickness using this. It's okay. So that's it for the object creation let's go to rendering and lighting part to use it for lighting and rendering our 3d object it's key shot so let's dive on it so here is the model portion you can see the individual parts of this model Let's rearrange the order a little bit. Make it upper. This is the upper portion, and those are the sides. Okay. <clears throat> so, right now this background is not so good actually. It's totally white and it's reflecting lots of light on our hang you. So first need. I need to change the background so on the backplate tab I have already created this background for the center white it's actually a gradient color use it on Photoshop uh, the middle portion is totally white and the sides are little bit of gray it's outstanding the product much better okay next part we need to go to the camera and view make it top view it's looking much better so create a new camera lock it so we are not going to distort our camera view actually i have to change the perspective a little bit normally for product selection we use 80 to 90 yeah, 80 to 90 roughly so i'm going to using the 85 swing the unsave so make it save lock it and go to the free camera free camera is pre inbuilt camera we can use it uh, anywhere to see object how it's looking on different type and different size in different view let's check it is whether it is totally position position is right or not let's click on snap to ground now it's right i think i need to move it a little bit so the shadows will show much better just a little bit okay next the material so what i'm going to do this is the uh, the main part of the hanky and those are the side parts i am going to use this same material for the base part the middle part and the side part but on two different what can I say hierarchy actually so when I am going to render it, I can get the clown layer, which is for basically selection on different colors. So I don't have to create um, or use the paint tool or any other tool for. I mean, for there's lots of time consuming. So let's just first select them all. Go to the material. Search for cotton just apply on the 
same goes for the first part apparently so how you can sure whether it is divided or not so you can see the side portion are cotton web number one and the front portion is cotton web number two so those are two different material you can confirm it in this material tab okay next thing the lighting the studio lighting is horrible it's totally white i can't see anything so just go to environment tab and add one clothing store of oh, the sides are looking marvelous it should be looking marvelous because we have used the marvelous details <laughs> okay so next what just rotate this shadow wait a little bit let it render that's okay you can increase the brightness let's like completely gray I, I think I have to reduce the saturation too for Photoshop we need white base image to use any type of color or design you want now it's quite gray Just dial up with the brightness of contrast a little bit. I think I'm going to rotate it. much better ok let's see um, how much time it's going to take Get it down a little bit. Increase the field of view. I think we can render it. So you can go it from here or you can use this tab for rendering. You can also save screenshot to see uh, you know the rendering is take a lot of time. So you can use this screenshot to present represent them how it's going to look after rendering. I think those areas are quite a bit of dark.
<coughs> let's drive to rendering click render name it whatever you want and key so here we need to choose some particular files first make it png i am going to get the alpha transparency no background will be there next use the clown the normals okay, let's take the normals the size is 3000 300 and sorry, 3000 and 2500 30dp Three fifty is more than enough. Three hundred. Let's start the render. Okay, let's see you guys after rendering is complete. Guys, welcome to the last segment of this our hanky mockup. So in this part, I am going to create it in a PSD mockup. So let's get started. Okay, so there are server layer here. The first one is the our base layer. This one is the selection layer, and this one is the normal layer. I will go in to show you last of this mockup uh, what is the use of this normal layer so mainly in this part we are going to use those two layers let's rename it here. selection and this is our background Okay. So first we need to create a rectangle and this one will be sufficient. Right click on it and make it a smart object. Okay. reduce the opacity and place it sorry and place it wow <laughs> I got actual layer so pressing the control key you can skew these points try to place it as close as possible all right 
place it make the opacity at its full now turn on the selection layer I'm going to use it on a two purpose the first one select both of them mask it out and as a second one select the only upper portion and create a solid color layer whichever color you are comfortable with now turn off the selection turn off this color layer open up the smart object nothing fancy just going to put some uh, patterns let's use some floral patterns patterns increase or decrease the size after editing the smart object always remember you need to save it not save as it just save it only that's why you can get the output here okay so we have created the smart object but where are the details going so we have to project those details here how can we do it very simple just select it create the background mm, sorry select the background and use ctrl J it will be duplicate those layers Them and put them in a folder, name them FX. This one will be our. object so for the FX layer list name them shadow name it light okay now one of the light layer make this shadow layer too whichever you think it's better for you you can either use the multiply color or the liner burn color it will make the whole image little bit of darker and multiply would just make the image as it is and apply those color above on it okay now turn on the light layer change it to uh, screen but it's too much white we need to reduce this opacity so what can we do reducing its opacity it's totally lost those layer so uh, sorry create a level Okay, and create a vector clipping marks 
now reduce the whiteness and you can see it it's totally up to you whichever you are preferable you can always recheck it just a little bit of light background create a solid color layer place it below the background but the shadow is not looking so good so what can you do select the whole layer and go to select and inverse then use control J take it to time turn off the background layer or you can put behind of this and make those two layer to multiply now see this realistic shadow you are getting you can reduce it or increase it just by changing the opacity if you want more darker shadow just create another copy This is a totally a isometric image. You can select all of them together and place anywhere you want. It's totally selected. How cool is this? Even you can rotate it if you want. Just place Ctrl T and see the changes. layer I created so this is the border of this layer you can change it with single color or any type of color you want it's looking nice okay so that's it thank you for watching and let me know in comments if any type of mockup you are looking for I am going to put it in, in comment description box so you can get it here um, don't forget to subscribe the channel and share it with others thank you